but I have one goal set up for uh, starting the form and then another goal set up for completing the form. And I found that to be a little bit insightful. I was wondering if that's like good to do for that insightfulness or is it just maybe just looking at the completed form is enough? Well, it, it all depends on what the data you're trying to show. So for instance, I like to keep goals as close to what is making money for the client as possible so that I can say to client, this is how many people who contacted you. And, and so I would probably not want to do, I would probably not want to do a goal for that because then it would be uh, an issue of, oh, well, you kind of got half this many goals because some people started in the form and others didn't. And so the, the numbers are going to be a little bit conflated. Now, there is a way to do this where, depending on how you have this set up, you might be able to set up one goal and still be able to measure start to completion. Is this a form that is like several pages long? Um, well, it's with gravity forms. So it's not technically pages, but it's steps. Okay, okay. But yeah, it's just one page. You, you can set up what's called a goal funnel in Google Analytics. Okay. And it will do is allow you to track things and then only count the final submission as the goal. But it'll, it'll show you on the funnel as people break out. So I had a client with a very long intake form. Mm -hmm. And I was able to set events along the way every time someone hit the next button. And then maybe it wasn't events, maybe it was page views. But the point was I was able, when the button was hit, it sent something to Google Analytics. And then I was able to put that into the, the, the goal funnel and then be able to say to them, your form is too long this is how many people you're losing towards the end of the funnel. Yeah. So in that way, I was able to keep one goal, which was the form was finally submitted. So that way, when I reported the client success or how many customers they might have acquired, I, that number was clean. And then I could use the goal funnel to say, okay, separate from that, how are people going through the form? Mm -hmm. That might be something to look at and you might have to actually create separate pages to do that. Right. But you could, you might be able to hack it by creating a on-click send a page view to Google Analytics event that would look like a page view in Google Analytics, although it's not really a page view to the customer. And so you could potentially do that. And that will help two things. But the, I mean, I think the other question is, if there is multiple steps in this form, is that an inherent necessary part of the checkout process or could this be simplified to increase overall conversions? Um, yeah, it definitely could be simplified. There's definitely room for improvement there. Okay, okay. I mean, I'm all for collecting data to make a, an educated decision. Right, and that's what I was really looking for more is the data instead of the emotional yeah. Decision making. Yeah. Yeah. So I would look at the goal funnels, and that's available in Universal Analytics, mm -hmm. and and see if you can set that up. Okay. So that way you know how people are processing through your forms to get to the final destination. Sweet. That sounds good.